Hello, good morning, good evening, how are you all doing? Hope you're all very well. Joe Warlock back again with another unboxing. This one is a mystery. An actual mystery. Not just a mystery, but an actual, actual mystery. This is the box. Problem is, not a clue. I've no clue who it's off. It came to my PO box, but it just, just had my name on. With the PO box, it didn't have any details from the company, didn't have any details of any subscribers or anything like that. It could be anything. I do not know. Ah, uh, so the same is whatever's in the box. The cost is whatever it comes to. I've literally got no idea. So this is going to be interesting. It's from somewhere in Wales. So if it happens to be you, let me know in the comments. But we'll cut it open and uh, hopefully we'll see what it is. It's got some weight to it. It's a rather large box, but who knows? Could be anything. Wow. Well, <laughs> we'll start with the first thing and move on to the ridiculously large thing. The first thing appears to be... Is this a Kawaii Cube? It is. It's a Kawaii Cube of the Flash. I don't mind Kawaii Cubes, to be honest. I think they kind of look kind of cool. This one looks absolutely insane with... Because uh, these are falling forward. It looks like... Uh, the Flash has some sort of Roman eyebrow thing going on. But uh, they're actually just sort of the Flash things for the Flash. It's okay. It's a Kawaii Cube. Uh, I don't know what they go for, like four or five quid. I'm sure they were on offer a lot cheaper than that in some of the discount stores over Christmas. But it's nice. It's the Flash. It's not a character I'm like super keen on. The Flash It's just a guy who runs fast. Hey, well done you. But it's something. I'm actually more interested in the larger object. So, hmm. So, oh, hold on. Before we get to the larger object, there is a pop. Okay. Star Wars Rogue One, Scarif Stormtrooper. So here is a Scarif Stormtrooper from Rogue One. Rogue One, of course, basically the film all about how they got the plans for the Death Star. And this Scarif Stormtrooper actually looks phenomenally good. As always, it's got the base. I always go on about how good bases are. More things need them. But that is cool. It actually kind of looks like the old... Uh, well, the not old. They'd be the newer ones, wouldn't they? They're biker scouts, because that would be set after this. Oh, it's confusing. Ugh, Lucas messing with us numerically in Disney following suit. But yeah, it kind of looks like the old sort of biker scout outfit, but with more armor. It's very cool. The detailing on the legs, and for some reason he has some sort of skirt thing going on which has kind of been done like leather. That's very cool. There's a lot of detail and quite a bit of color on this. Like the markings on the helmet. That's actually quite a cool looking pop. I love the helmet design on that. I didn't take any notice of these characters in the film, but I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. The gun looks awesome. That's an amazingly well done pop. I mean, for such a small character, that is very cool. I like that a lot. So, okay, there was a pop. And that one's for the big item. So the uh, the big item, oh, it is big. What? It's a 12 inch super deformed uh, plush of BB-8. That's, that's got some weight to it, but that's kind of awesome in a really weird way. I'm, what? You can get BB-8, Chewbacca, Kylo Ren, Yoda, uh, Ray. I think that's Ray. It looks like Rita Repulsa, but I could be wrong. And R2-D2. That's a... Uh, I mean... I like it. I don't know why, but I like it. I'm not mad on plushes. They're tiny little rubbish things, usually. That's kind of cool, simply for the size of it. I'm just... I'm impressed. That's actually really well detailed as well. But, yeah, BB-8, huge plow. What does this go for? I have no words. If you send this box, and you're a company or a subscriber, let me know, because that's awesome. I like this. It's just... What in the world? I just... Can you get bigger ones than this? I know you can get smaller ones, I'm just curious if you can get even bigger ones. But that's probably a reasonable size for the actual BB-8 droid, I think. Possibly? Maybe? Is it? Let me know. I think there are more items. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Car air freshener shaped like the Millennium Falcon. And, hmm. Gonna be honest, I don't remember seeing air fresheners on the Millennium Falcon. That thing must absolutely stink. But with more things... Ooh, we've got a t-shirt. What? Oh, it's... Ooh, I can see what it is already. It's incredibly white and incredibly bright. Actually, very cool. I'm not going to wear it because it's. I think I look a bit weird in a Wonder Woman t-shirt. That is a pretty awesome Wonder Woman, actually, straight from the comics. It's simple. It's a bit too bright for me, to be honest, like way too bright almost. 
but it is a nice design, and as always, t-shirt, about a tenner. Okay, let's grab someone else, and wait, okay, we have another t-shirt. What? I don't even know what the theme of this box could be. What is this? <laughs> oh. Oh. Milk with a mouth. Special juice. So smooth, you'll want to swallow. Wow. Oh, dear. Um, uh, it's actually kind of cool t-shirt. I probably would wear that, but I'm not so keen on it being white. It's just... It's white. If it was black and they'd somehow done it in the white writing or something, I think it would have looked a lot cooler. But it's it's not bad. And as always, again, t-shirt's about a tenner. Is there more? Oh, there is. What? Oh, got stuck together. Oh, okay. We have a Venom print. That's actually really nice. Oh, I like the detail on Venom. Venom's an awesome character. Not as good as Carnage, but of course, without Venom, you wouldn't have Carnage. So that's cool. Of course, going to be played by Tom Hardy. That'll be interesting. And a Hulk print. That's not bad. I think I've had this Hulk print before. Or am I dreaming? They all blend into one. Um. Yeah, let's just recap this box of uh from uh. So in the box of uh, we had Kawaii Cube Flash, Scarif Stormtrooper, man, Deadpool T-shirt, Wonder Woman T-shirt, massive BB-8 plush droid, which is awesome. I love that. Um, I mean, T-shirts are pretty cool. I just wish they were on black, but that's just a personal preference. This thing, eh. The prints are nice. That's still this is just this is the best thing in the box. It's incredible. The Kawaii Cube is Kawaii Cube, and the pop is awesome. But where's this from? Where? I don't know! So thank you for this mystery box of mystery. Uh, it's actually rather cool. And if I knew the price of all the stuff, that'd be awesome. And if I knew the price of the box, that'd be awesome as well. Feel free to comment and let me know anything, because I have no idea. I have no idea where, what, who, when, and other words this box is, was, does something. So if you enjoyed, please hit that like button, it really helps me out. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.